Play ball! Baseball lives. You're kidding. They settled the strike? Uh, no. The next best thing, though, Sierra's Front Page Sports Baseball 94 is out. And it's the best baseball sim yet. Thank goodness, too. I was beginning to miss loafing on the couch. I may have to go to a chair now, but hey, loafing is loafing. I'm very happy for you. Yeah, I've seen the new version, too, and it certainly is impressive. Sierra's becoming the Microsoft of gaming. Their domination of the adventure game market just wasn't enough. Now with FBS Baseball and Football, they publish the best sports games on the market as well. Baseball 94 looks and plays very well from any standpoint. Management and playing are equally well done and both go much deeper than any game before it. The statistics aspect of the game rivals even the most in-depth stat-only baseball sims on the market. True, true. But it's the on-the-field gameplay that most people will want. The quick start option carried over from FPS football is great. Just choose two teams and who controls them, and you're off to the ballpark. Complete with hot dog vendors, program vendors, and obnoxious fans. The sound effects and music are second to none. Yeah, I know, every baseball sim has take me out to the ball game, but now Baseball 94 throws a lot more at you, too. Yep. Umpire calls, the crack of the bat, the sound of ball hitting glove. They're all here. I'm surprised that no celebration music played when I hit a home run, though. I thought that would be a great opportunity to throw in some catchy organ tune. Oh, well. Everybody's favorite team is included, albeit under names like the Boston Scarlet Hose and the Chicago Pale Hose. What's up with that, anyway? Well, apparently Sierra got the license to use all of the real players, but not the real teams. This is bizarre, but a team could be called the Slotesburg Frog Pokers, for all I care, as long as my favorite players are on it. Slotesburg? Whatever. Players are ranked in plenty of categories on a 1 to 100 scale. Pitchers have 1 to 4 different pitches, each one thrown with a different level of success. Batters are measured in the areas of contact hitting, power hitting, and running speed. One of the coolest features in Baseball 94 lets you create your own league using any number of pre-assembled teams. After choosing the teams, the game gives you the option to dump all of the team rosters into a new pool to draft from. This gives you the chance to mix up rosters randomly or by choice. I hope anyone who buys and plays Baseball 94 has a lot of time. I mean, league creation is slow, but it's nothing compared to the amount of time it takes to simulate your average 13-game day. Oh, come on. The front page sports games are supposed to be the most in-depth sims on the market. You can't expect it to just blaze through and assign random stats to games. The reason the simulated games take so long is that they're actually being played. Be thankful that you don't have to watch the whole thing in real time. Eesh, that would be nasty. Anyway, baseball does keep a lot of player, team, and season stats, and everything's printable, so you can decorate your wall with evidence of your blowouts. I like the calendar metaphor for displaying a season. You can click on any day and check out the matchups that are going to occur. Man, this game is deep. If you don't read the manual cover to cover, you'll probably miss out on a lot of the features. RTFM before you play. What's not to like? I couldn't find a thing. If anything, Front Page Sports Baseball 94 is too much of a game for the average gamer. That's not a flaw, though. A game is truly great if it can be played at several different levels. No argument there. Baseball 94 can be played and enjoyed by anyone. And even at its most rudimentary level, it's more fun than watching some overpaid jocks scratch themselves. Uh, okay, let's, let's not escalate this. 